Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. I thank you guys so many, so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading, all right? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, we could be talking to a cross watcher here. Depending on what's going on in your situation, Cancer, we could either be talking to you or we could be talking to the, a person that is associated with you that isn't necessarily a Cancerian. Like if they're, if they're associated with a Cancerian and they're watching this, we could be talking to them as well, all right? So just keep that in mind. The roles can be reversed here. So just take whatever resonates for you and place it into your life where it fits naturally. Don't try and force anything to fit anywhere, okay? I am available for private readings. If you would like to get one with me, go ahead and check the information in the description box below. All the details can be found down there. Also, if you would like a bit of extra content throughout the month or you would just like a way to support the channel here, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link for that can be found in the description box as well. All right, Cancer, let's get into your reading here. I do have your pre-shuffle, but before I get started, I first want to say, please excuse the chickens. Um, it was quiet all morning, okay, until I sat down here to start recording your reading like as like right before i sat down here all of a sudden one of the roosters started this conversation that you hear going on with one of the chickens and i politely went out there and was like hey guys thank you hey you know like it, do you mind could you like take this conversation elsewhere i'm trying to work here and obviously they don't care so <laughs> but anyway I apologize if their if their chatter is a little distracting in the background, but like whatever it is, what it is, right? Okay, kids. So, Cancer, let's get into your pre-shuffle here. Um, interesting. What I, I just heard something. I just heard something. I heard I have the dominant energy. Okay. Um, I mean that's not necessarily a bad point of view to hold I would just say cancer be careful with that because with that form of uh, 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 with that form of self-identification you could be getting into some strong egoic um, strongly egoically dominated energies and situations that could really just turn out to be um, not so fruitful we'll say <laughs> but on top of that, though, with what I have here and what I'm picking up for you already, Cancer, it does kind of feel like that is a valid statement to make. So what you have here, Cancer, is the Eight of Cups with the Hermit. And at the bottom of the deck, overall energy is the Knight of Swords to the Knight of, I'm sorry, to the Nine of Wands under that to Justice. All right. So, I mean, point blank. It's quite obvious here that somebody is moving forward, walking away from something. Eight of Cups uh, is in the process of leaving something behind, something that was a long-standing circumstance or situation, or maybe even a concept. That's what I'm hearing. With that, you have the night. The, I'm sorry, the Hermit, which is an energy of being very self-aware. Or ha what I'm hearing for you, Cancer, is self-awareness is intact. And there was really nothing I was picking up on, Cancer, for you in terms of this situation other than like uh, outside of the generic Eight of Cups, walking away from something, leaving something behind, and the Hermit being an energy of self-awareness, whatnot, whatever, going on a, a hermitage, having your own thoughts or beliefs, whatever. I, I, uh, the only other thing, the only... Uh, 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 scenario specific energies that I was getting outside of any sort of generalization or general energy is just this feeling of being fed up like what I picked up on for you cancer was somebody having been sitting in a chair like literally I'm getting this image somebody is sitting in something like an easy chair right which if we're just talking figuratively an easy chair could be a, a really comfortable place to be so we could call that a comfort zone okay somebody sitting in a comfort zone or sitting in their easy chair going back and forth with someone specifically or watching something happen external to them or or just being in the midst of or involved with a situation but still remaining within their comfort zone and then all of a sudden 
getting frustrated or fed up and then just being like, oh, you know what? Screw it or fuck it. Oh, here we go. Okay. And then getting up out of their chair and addressing something. Thus, we have this Eight of Cups, getting up, and, and the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, getting up and fighting against something, fighting back against something. And what it looks like, Cancer, is that you're fighting or somebody here is fighting against fear, Nine of Swords, to justice. And this justice doesn't necessarily feel like bringing justice into your life specifically. This feels like um, leveling the playing field. <coughs> Excuse me. Aha, sneeze on the truth, leveling the playing field or bringing or, or standing up, fighting back, pushing back against something, something that has been encroaching uh, up on you or somebody, somebody else, whether this is on behalf of yourself or maybe on behalf of another person or maybe on behalf of a collective of people or group of people or something like that. But standing up and pushing back in defense of something or someone that helps to level the playing field. Justice only feels nothing like other than just leveling the playing field. Okay, whereas now, now there's where we come into the phrase, I have the dominant energy. So either this is standing up cancer against someone that is trying to assert or enforce or, um, or force their dominance on someone else, or you having, you actually containing a dominant energy, but using that to bring balance, not using that at the expense of the free will of others. Okay, Cancer? That's really all that I'm getting here. Hold on a second. Let me handle this for a moment. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. All right, Cancer. So we're going to move forward here because that's really, to be honest with you, that's really all I'm picking up on for your pre-shuffle. So let's get into the rest of the reading here and see. I keep hearing dominant. I just heard it again. Dominant energies. So that could be what we're discussing for you here, Cancer. Um, yeah, let's just give this a go and see what we can. So. Excuse me. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, Cancer, and we'll see what we have for you. Yeah. One, for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, sure, this is two, for the month of September of 2021. Make sure to watch the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, guys, yeah, to get a complete view, a complete picture of what could be happening for you during this time period. That was two. This, no, that was three. This is four. Sorry, I lose count sometimes. <laughs> And this is five for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the month of September 2021. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Cancer. Oh, okay. We have the Ten of Swords. Cancer, this is literally that moment where I feel like <laughs> what I'm seeing, what, is <laughs> what I'm seeing is... An older man or an older male energy or male entity that has been sitting in their easy chair, kind of trying to ignore the bickering or the argument of others around them. You know, like sitting there at the, in their chair, at their television, at their TV, watching TV while this, while this argument goes on in the background. And it's not like this person can't hear what's going on. I mean, it's happening right next to them. So obviously they hear everything's going on, everything that's going on, but they're trying to ignore it. But it gets to a point where they can't ignore it anymore and they get up and they and they now inject themselves into the situation. But it's not necessarily that you could be getting involved or injecting yourself into the situation just to continue to stir drama. You, you're just trying to get the bickering to stop or just either either stop, or like end the conversation, end the argument, or take this elsewhere is what I'm picking up on. But you have the Ten of Swords here. Okay, so this is uh, this is talking about the ending of something. Okay, the end of some sort of fight, the ending of some sort of argument. The, the uh, whether it's actually fully resolved or not. What I'm picking up on here for you, Cancer, with the Ten of Swords here, is just bringing an end to the to the infighting or the argument. Okay, under the Ten of Swords is the Seven of Cups. Under the Seven of Cups is the Tower, and under the 
And under the tower is the Queen of Swords. All right, yeah, there is literally an energy of stop bickering, stop fighting. Okay. But what, I, what I'm really interested in right now is this tower energy. Sorry, my cats are outside playing with the chickens. Um, what I'm really interested in understanding here, though, Cancer, is this tower energy. Because it feels a little bit misplaced, but it's not. Everything happens for a reason. It's here for a reason. And what I'm getting here with this is that there is some sort of truth or some sort of perspective that's coming in via the Queen of Swords energy that's bringing an end to this situation or this argument seven of cups and ten of swords and is actually bringing the tower down as well there's some sort of truth or understanding that's coming through that's really shaking things up and this could be a situation and this could be as basic cancer as this person that's now standing up or this uh what is the word i'm looking for this um the symbolism in the image that I'm getting for you right now, Cancer, it could be that this individual that's figuratively getting out of, out of their chair is fed up and is like, all right, look, I'm putting an end to this once and for once and for all. Either your involvement or the involvement of this person is creating a tower moment or the point of view, the perspective that this person holds that's coming in and saying enough is enough, no more of this is a tower moment. Or just the ending of this situation. This could be a long-standing fight. The ending of this situation is the end of it, is, is a tower moment. Like the, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is a sudden, what I'm feeling here for you, Cancer, is this is either a sudden end to a long-standing argument or a long-standing situation, or it's the sudden realization of the point of view that somebody has been holding that you would have never expected and completely blows the lid off of everything. But ultimately, Cancer, I feel like between the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords here, there is a resolution involved. An ending is in sight if that ending has not already come through, okay? All right, Cancer. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have, well, the devil. Toxicity. But the devil has been this argument, this fight that has been happening all along. And uh, this might be really out there for some people, but what I'm picking up on here, and again, take this as it resonates, but what I'm picking up on here is that there are there have been some dark energies or some dark entities that have been feeding off of this fight or feeding off of the tension or the low vibrational or negative emotions that have been created or given rise to because of this fight. So maybe, so if this applies to you, then take it. But if you've been wondering why this has been going on for so long, or you just don't understand why we're still even arguing about this, that has part to do with it. And if you and if that doesn't resonate with you, like if there if there are if like the idea or the concept of dark or negatively oriented entities that are not physically oriented, attaching to the individuals that are are, are the the a part of this fight and feeding off of that negative energy that's generated, if that doesn't resonate with you, then there's something about the individuals that are involved here that are addicted to whatever energies are um, generated through this argument or through this situation. They're addicted to the anger. They're addicted to the pain. There's an addiction towards being right or they're like something, something like that. Okay. The, the devil, the devil is coupled with the ace of swords though. What I'm hearing for this cancer is clarity, uh, truth, honestly seeing, ooh, honestly seeing where the devil lies here. The devil is in the details is, a, is this is the type of situation that we're, uh, I, what I feel like in terms of this situation and maybe what is 
causing someone to finally get up and say enough is enough. I think someone is recognizing the core aspect of this that has given rise to this situation or this devilish or this toxic situation altogether. I'm hearing the devil is in the details and that's leading me to feel like somebody is seeing, is starting to see, really see into the, the, the specifics of the situation and see where the devil or this devilish energy or the toxicity lies. Like someone is starting to see through the truth or see past the, the veil that the devil, the veil of illusion that this devilish energy wants to keep up to keep this fight going. It's like someone has found the devil in all of this. The toxicity, the codependency, the fear, the anxiety, the resentment, the anger, whatever. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, is the chariot. This is you, Cancer. You're showing up here in your reading. Um, I'm hearing things like alignment is real. Okay. So... Cancer, this could have to do with someone um, someone spouting or spewing fearful energies, fearful points of view, and are trying to tell you that maybe, because what I heard was alignment is real. So this could have been a situation in which someone was trying to, to, to tell you that your alignment doesn't mean shit in layman's terms, um, that your alignment is, your alignment alone is not going to save you, is not going to help you, this, that, whatever. Okay, the chariot is coupled with, ah, the 10 of cups. Uh, okay. This is really interesting, Cancer, because what I'm getting from this now, Cancer, is that your alignment is real. And it actually is leading you towards your sense of emotion, of ultimate emotional fulfillment, the chariot with the Ten of Cups. That's what you're, or at least that's what this person is heading towards. And what I'm kind of getting with this now, Cancer, is that this person, whether it be you or whether it be someone else, this person has an alignment that they're very well in tune with, and it actually is leading them towards ultimately where they want to go. But the other person or the other side of the, of the situation involved doesn't align with that. But that's okay. They're not supposed to. They don't have to. And what I think someone is realizing here, Cancer, is that the fighting is just coming from a place of fear. All right, so Cancer, in terms of this situation here, or in terms of the situation in which someone has finally gotten to the point where they're fed up and they're getting up out of their easy chair to open their mouth or to, 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 to drop a nugget of wisdom or whatnot, whatever, to end this situation because somebody recognizes the fearful aspects behind it. And I'm hearing something like not going to let themselves or someone else be torn down just because of somebody else's fear. Not going to let, allow someone to be thrown off of their path just because someone else wants to spout fearful things. Interesting, Cancer. The challenge here in your first half of your reading is the Four of Cups. Someone doesn't want to be involved any longer. And what's interesting here, Cancer, is that I'm feeling the exact opposite of what the card uh, uh, typically or physically represents. We have someone here that's sitting here thinking about or contemplating or focused on or staring at the three cups that are in front of them and, are, and potentially missing out or missing out on or choosing not to take the cup of inspiration or divine guidance that's coming through for them through this cloud. You see that? But in this situation, Cancer, I feel like somebody is actually more willing to take the cup of wisdom that's coming straight from the universe instead of all the cups that are being handed to them in the physical. I'm hearing things like divine guidance is key here. So what I'm feeling with the Four of Cups in the challenge here in the first half of the reading, which keep in mind is representative of the past energies up until the current moment. 
I feel like the challenge here is to not focus so much on the external and focus more on the internal. Like you may have, or this person may have a ton of different people providing them with, with advice or solutions and this, that, and the third, and none of that really resonates with this person as an individual, except for that one cup of guidance or, or love or clarity or whatnot that's coming straight from source itself, straight from the divine itself. And I feel like the challenge here for you, Cancer, or for the, whomever this is in terms of your life, Cancer, the challenge has been to stop focusing so much on the internal and focus more on the, I'm sorry, stop focusing so much on the external and focus more on the internal guidance that they're receiving. But what I'm getting with this cancer is that it's been, it's taken them a while to be to feel comfortable enough to reach for that cup of guidance or inspiration that's coming straight from source or straight from the divine. And that could be the element of that situation where I'm feeling like somebody is finally getting up and is saying, all right, enough is enough here. Okay. Four of cups is coupled with mm, the Hierophant. That's right. That's right, Cancer. The challenge has been Instead of focusing so much on the hive mind, three of cups and or the hierophant, right? And the three cups are three of cups is representative of these three cups right here. The challenge has been to stop focusing so much on the external guidance, the hierophant, which would represent the institutions of humanity and religion and stuff like that. Stop focusing so much on this element here and focus more here. This ace of cups that's coming through. Okay. That's been the challenge in this moment, in this up until this point. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Cancer. We have the Two of Swords. And what this feels like, Cancer, is confusion. Okay? I mean, we do have the Seven of Cups here. This is the official confusion card. But when it comes to the Two of Swords, this represents confusion, but it also represents a way of dealing with that confusion. I mean, obviously, for those of us who know what traditionally what the tarot means or the, what the cards mean, the Two of Swords often represents denial. Whether someone refuses to make a decision or choose, make a choice, or whether they're unable to do so. And it could be that they're unable to do so because there's too much confusion externally. So because of that, what you would need to do is close off to what you're experiencing or what you're seeing inter externally and focus more internally. That's off, that can be what the Two of Swords represents. Because you see, her, her, the Two Swords that represent your mind or your thoughts are in a defensive position, closing, blocking out that which would be external to you. And she's blindfolded, meaning that she can't see external to her. But, but she still can see... She just can't see with her physical eyes. She could see with her third eye. She could see with her intuition. She could see inward. And so often when you find yourselves in these seven of cups energies in which there's so much chaos and confusion around you, you don't know how to don't, don't know what decision to make, don't know how to move forward. It's often really beneficial for you to close off to all of that and focus internally for your guidance, right? Two of swords is coupled with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer, so what I'm getting for you in this is that your closing message or potential outcome, and I really kind of feel like this is your potential outcome here, Cancer, okay? This is what this whole toxic situation has led you to. This is the final outcome from the past up until now. Stop focusing externally and start going within and doing the work that you need to do to clean up or clear up your emotions. Maybe that's what this tower energy is. You going within and completely reshaping your internal reality so that you're not caught up in this type of energy again or this type of situation again, 10 of swords, and maybe even so that you're not caught up in the confusion like this any longer or to this degree any longer. Okay, I'm definitely getting an energy of self-mastery here with this eight of pentacles. And that normally comes across or comes through as the three of pentacles. But what I'm getting here for you, Cancer, is that someone is like really putting their nose to the grind, like really focusing and doubling down and doing some really tough work. But it feels like internal work, like really working on themselves. Because I feel like and maybe this is the situation, maybe this is another representation of why it feels like Someone is literally huffing, like like fed up, and is getting out of their comfort zone 
It's literally, I'm literally seeing someone get up out of the comfort zone of their easy chair. Okay. So that really could be the, re the moment, the impetus in which someone was like, all right, look, we've got some real serious work we need to do on ourselves. Let's, let's stop focusing so much on the external and start doing that fucking work. Okay. And that actually could be because someone may have gotten to the point where they finally recognize that their external reality is a direct reflection of their internal reality. And so they're not going, and, and so maybe that's the moment that you, that's that aha moment, ace of swords with the devil. That's may, that may be that moment where you realize, holy shit, I can't keep doing anything about this this way. The more I fight the external, the more extreme the fight gets. So maybe instead of fighting externally, maybe I should go within and start fixing stuff and start excavating is what I just heard. Good on you, Cancer. Okay. Let's move forward here. Let's get into the second half of your reading, yeah? So we're going to look at the current energies off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First half, uh, sorry, first set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Cancer, you have temperance. This is good. This is patience. I am feeling like this is understanding. This is intuition mixed with cognitive ability. Um, but this is also patience. I just feel like, Cancer, you're having, for at this point, at this moment, Cancer, you're kind of in a surrendered mode. Um, where number one, you're recognizing that this is going to take time. Okay, this is not a quick or easy fix, especially in terms of the fact that we're talking about a tower moment of which something that could have been that was long standing needs to be broken down, tore down or reshaped or remodeled like that's not going to happen overnight. Right. Okay, you get that. But I am also kind of feeling an energy cancer of like a realchemization between the old you, the old sense of self and the new sense of self. Okay, temperance is coupled with the eight of swords. And what this is feeling like here, it's it's kind of feeling like a mental prison. Um, and yeah, that makes sense. But, but more specifically, this feels like areas that you would not allow your mind to step out of. This feels like designated areas like designated boundaries of which you wouldn't even allow your mind to even think about crossing over into. And I completely understand why you would do that. I completely understand why anybody would do that. But it feels like at this point, Cancer, that somebody has gotten to the point where now they're finally willing to open up those boundaries. There's something, there's either something that has happened for them, for you or for them in their, in the external or this is all, all of this fighting, all the, like getting to this point where someone is like saying enough is enough is allowing them to open up to the possibilities of what else could be out there, which is where we get this alchemization of the old and the new versions of yourself or of this person. Okay, cool. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the second half of your reading, you got the two of cups working in tandem. Whether this is you working in tandem with yourself, i.e. the masculine and the feminine energies within you, or this is working in tandem with somebody else. And maybe this is just finally realizing or finally being aware of or finally ready to accept the point of view or the position of another person. And instead of just fighting against that because of your own opinion or your own thought process, being open to communicating and... Um, I want to say co-creating, coalescing, something like that. Two of Cups is coupled with mm, the Hermit. So for the most part, Cancer, this is happening on an internal level. And so what I feel like here, what you're doing, Cancer, is you're rec reconciling. You're reconciling with yourself. And what I'm also getting is that I think some of you recognize that um, you, the only reason you have this external drama going on in your life right now is because you actually have this internal imbalance within yourself. And again, this is definitely feeling like for somebody out here, 
and I'm, I'm hearing this is just a small percentage of the people that are, are aligning with this message. But someone out here has finally reached the point of view or the understanding that their external reality is a direct reflection of their internal. And so really, in order to really experience any sort of change, you've got to stop fighting with yourself and you've got to clean up these discrepancies. Thus, we have the Hermit and the Two of Cups. Going within, finding your inner light, reconciling with yourself and improving on the bond and the relationship you have with your own self. Okay, your challenge here, Cancer, in the second half of your reading is the Five of Swords. I don't feel like this energy, this challenge is too hard for many people, although there are some that are going to be very resistant to this, and that's just because of your ego. Literally, it's just because of your ego. But the Five of Swords here is representing the, the, the challenge of not self-sabotaging, which is a subsection, a subconcept, or a sub-chapter of this reality, or of this situation. But it's also about dropping your sword and stopping f and not fighting frivolous or stupid or pointless arguments. Like picking your battles, literally picking your battles, Cancer. I, I just heard letting things go that you don't understand. Quite frankly, you don't need to understand them as much as you may think you do or as much as others may say you need to. The interesting about this being your challenge in the second half of your reading, Cancer, this Five of Swords energy, is that everything we've been talking about here has been leading up to this energy of just literally just walking away from a, from a certain situation that is not leading you anywhere. Or walking away from a certain argument that has been going ongoing and ongoing and ongoing that is not getting any better, is not improving, is only deteriorating at this point or maybe has been deteriorating the whole time and now you're just starting to become aware of it. Consciously walking away from the battles, picking and choosing what it is you fight for and what it is you don't. So it's interesting that this is coming out as your challenge in the second half of your reading when it feels like everything that we've been talking about here has been leading you to this exactly. Walking away, picking your battles. Walking away from a never ending fight. That's just not going to get anywhere, anyone anywhere. Five of Swords is coupled with, yeah, the Three of Swords. This situation is just going to com continue to perpetuate pain and heartbreak, period. And the ch I guess the challenge for some of you here is in recognizing that and then walking away, while the challenge for other people is that you've got to just walk away from it at this point because you recognize it for what it is. Your closing message or potential outcome, Cancer, in the last second half of your reading is the Ace of Cups. Unconditional love, understanding, and compassion. Maybe even loving yourself for who you are. I did just hear that. Loving yourself for who you are and what point of view you hold, what stance you bring to the table, this, that, and the third, but like, and not doubting yourself or disowning yourself when someone doesn't agree with you or whatnot, whatever, but this is also holding the love and the respect for other people's points of views and their challenges. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Cups. There you are, Cancer. Um, again, you're showing up in your reading twice here, but the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups, unconditional love, understanding, empathy, compassion, understanding of one's feelings, but also understanding of someone else's feelings. But knowing how to draw boundaries or lines in the sand that are respectful and nurturing to all, but not necessarily enabling. Being able to love and understand someone else, compassionate empathy, loving and understanding someone else, while also being able to hold the same for yourself. Okay, I'm going to move on to um, your closing oracle guidance here, Cancer. And I want to get that from the 
Crystal Mandala deck, yes? All right, I'm gonna give this three shuffles for you, Cancer. One. Two. And three. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's try that again. Three. All right, closing Oracle Guidance for you, Cancer. For my Cancerians. Cancer, 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 Cancer. Closing Oracle Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Yeah, okay. This makes sense. Card number 13, Archangel Adnachiel and Tiger's Eye. Tiger Spirit Rises. Okay. Tiger Spirit Rises. We bring you the gift of the Tiger Spirit Rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed, loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to, to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. Beautiful. So there you have it, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>